We know MLK, we know Malcolm X, we know Rosa Parks, and we know the iconic Shirley Chisholm. But who are some of the unsung black heroes that we know nothing about? Well, join me this Black History Month as we walk through 28 days learning about 28 who should be iconic, but are unsung black heroes. Hello everyone and welcome. I am Quentin R. Giles, your host of the Q with Q show and welcome to Unsung Black Heroes. Every day this month, I will introduce heroes who have not only influenced the African-American community, but the world at large. Today, we're gonna focus on photojournalism Marilyn Nance and her storytelling and history preserving talents. And at the end, we will discuss how her work has impacted our everyday experiences. So stick around and let's get educated. As a young woman in the arts, a gifted visual artist, a black creator, Marilyn Nance's creations and projects presented and preserved the legacy of blackness, both the mundane and the excellent. Today, we want to celebrate Marilyn Nance. Now, documenting history in the U.S. has been taken by the majority culture. Since the colonization of the indigenous land, European settlers have decided what is art, what is government, what is law, and what is not. However, this could not stop and would not stop black people and other people of color from continuing to create culture and passing down stories from their perspectives and their experiences. Or should I say our perspective and our experiences. From 1977 to this day, to this day, Marilyn Nance is sharing through photographs, music, poems, and more. Born in 1953, Nance's career started when she was in her 20s. In 1974, her photos were a part of the Black Photographer Annual. The artist behind the Black Photographer Annual Collection wanted to expand opportunities for African-American photographers. Nance got another launching point by participating in the largest cultural event on the African continent. The second World Black and African Festival of Arts and Culture, or FESTAC. Nance was the official photographer for the U.S. contingent. The month-long cultural event took place in Lagos, Nigeria, with 17,000 attendees from 70 countries. The objective was to amplify Black voices, vision, and value on the global scale. To, quote, give Black artists, writers, and performers all over the world a feeling of belonging to a common root despite the diversity of their individual cultural identities, end quote, according to an article from Duke University Press. Now, some saw it as a symbolic reversal of the transatlantic slave trade. Nance took 1,500 pictures which have been hidden, waiting to be revealed to the public in just the right medium. According to her website, Nance and the editor will publish her archive as a book entitled Last Day in Lagos. So be on the look for that. Nance went on from there to discover and document the lifestyles among the African diaspora. And her work is extensive, from the Smithsonian American Art Museum, the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts, to the Schokenberg Center for Research in Black Culture, and the Library of Congress. Her projects have been able to inspire many. Nance's work ranges from photographing the Black indigenous people in New Orleans to the actual Yoruba village community in South Carolina. She was committed to educating others as well as investing in herself, earning her BFA in communications graphic design from Pratt Institute and an MFA in photography from Maryland College Institute of Art. In the late 90s, Nance took advantage of a new space of storytelling, the internet. She pioneered what became streaming, becoming one of the internet's first radio disc jockeys in 1996. Her website, soulsister.com, remains a carefully preserved piece of the 90s. Now, when I went there, I swear I heard a dial of modem. Cause sis is definitely keeping it basic on the website. Marilyn Nance is recognized by the Smithsonian Institute Center for Folklore Programs and Cultural Studies as a community folklore scholar. And how does that look in the digital age? Nance was asked to curate the first digital Schokenberg web project for the New York Public Library in 1997, carefully choosing to highlight the faces of Black Americans in the 19th century, going all the way back to the Civil War. She intentionally chose images that might be overlooked. She noted that the majority of the time, Black people were peripheral in photos and documents. Okay, so to the side, basically. 
Nance wrote on the web project that her quote, criteria for image selection became familiar body language, evidence that the photographic subject may be taking control of their own representation. I looked for the rare, the dignified, and the historical significance of the image, end quote. Nance has also created and worked with many other black artists. One of her notable creations is the Santana Project, which is an intergenerational, interdisciplinary art collective. You can check out some of her work, projects, images, and more in the description below in this video. So how does all this impact us? Marilyn Nance is an intelligent, thoughtful photographer, photojournalism, a creator. She documents life for black Americans as a black American. She partners with other creatives as well as large museums and events to share collective stories. Her mission and values are the collection, preservation, and the presentation of traditional culture in a community. She creates art as well as a space to connect black people to our rich past and vibrant present. She pours not only herself, but the stories, knowledge, and dignity of her family, her ancestors, and all while keeping in mind who will need the stories in the future. Black stories told from a black perspective are crucial in our understanding of the culture. There is something special and unique about understanding black experiences through thoughtful, insightful, and researched black artists. Because we are not a monolith, each person will have a different take. Nance once said, quote, we are all really special. We all have stuff, but it's up to us to find out what our stuff is, end quote. So my question for you today is, how will you find insightful black perspectives? Will you be exploring music by black artists that you haven't heard of before? Reading books or articles by black authors and scholars? And even closer than that, what are the stories of black people in your life, in your community? That's it for this time. Stay tuned for more unsung black heroes. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something, subscribe for more, and make sure you hit that bell notification to be the first in the queue. Marilyn Nance is sharing, is sharing through photo. Now documenting history in the US has been taken by the McCulloch. Scratch it. Which is a intergenerational, which is a intergenerational, which is a intergenerational, interdisciplinary art collective. For folk, folk, folk oh. Her mission and values are the collection. Uh -oh. Now some saw it too. The second world, but I need to, I need to read there. She works seamlessly alongside people like an expert. She worked, mm -mm, cut that.